Today I'm going to be playing around with some DJ software that allows you to mix music solely inside the software, which basically means you can use this to DJ and mix tracks together without using any hardware at all. No CDJs, no controllers, nothing. Just the software and your music. I mean, in many cases it's stuff that I haven't even had a go of just yet. So we're going to figure them out, hopefully give you all a chance to figure out for yourselves which one might be the best fit and the most useful for what you need it for. First things first, I'm going to get into Serato DJ Lite. Let's head over and have a look. Now, I'm a user of Serato myself. I've used it for many years, and um, I've been using Pro DJ from when it was uh, Scratch Live, so a long, long time ago now. This looks quite similar to what I expect from a Serato product. Nice and clean. You've got your left and right decks pretty apparent at the top. Um, something else that's really nice is they also include a few demo tracks so that if you haven't got any music on your computer just yet, you can still have a go at the buttons, get used to it and see if it's something that you might consider using. It's completely free to download, as are all of the bits of software that we're going to test in this demo. Nice and simple, I'm going to try and drag two tracks in, one onto the left deck, there we go, house track, and one onto the right deck. Simple drag and drop, the waveform appears, I can see here the two tracks lined up, so that is going to be like my visual cue to see if everything's in time. Now, as you can notice up here, you've got your BPM, you've got your track name, and an overview of the waveform, and these are your cue points. Now, I know this because I've been using Serato, um, but if you do need any help figuring out what's what on Serato, this little button up here, and click the show tool tips, just hover over anything, and it will give you a little bit of an information on what does what which is really useful if you're just having a go trying to figure it out for yourself of course there are lots of tutorials on the Serato website that you can check out um, and there are links to those inside the app as well so what I'm going to attempt to do here is kind of come in at a complete beginners and try and mix two tracks together obviously I know the kind of mechanics of DJ and so it should be a little bit easier for me than someone starting out from scratch but I've basically got my EQs for each track here left and right and the mixer in the middle. So it's kind of set up like a basic DJ setup as you would expect to see it. You can kind of change the layer up here so you can hide that if you don't want to use that but obviously we're going to be using this to mix internally so we do want to see that. Serato has also got some cool sound effects. Pretty loud in my ear that one. Shout out the air horn. Siren. Classics. Everyone loves a bit of sub. And we got the sweet. So those are pretty useful sounds um, to just kind of like give your mix that little extra edge. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to mix these two tracks together just using the visual cues on screen to help me out. There's lots of buttons and features here that suggest to me that I might be able to do that literally just keeping an eye on what's going on on the screen in front of me. So first things first, I'm going to bring the crossfader all the way over to the left because I'm going to be playing the track on the left to start. Let's get that tune playing. Now this song's playing at 124 beats per minute and what I'm hoping is that clicking this sync button here should bring this track, which is 120 beats per minute, bang up to speed with the one that's playing. Let's see what happens. Well there you go, straight away, 124 beats per minute which means that all I've got to do now is match the beats in time and uh, perform a crossfade to do a mix that hopefully won't sound too bad. Let's see how easy it is. So I can tell now that I'm quite far out in the mix. I can see that my snares are not lined up right on these waveforms. There's the kind of area that the beat is hitting and I can see that this one's late. So what I'm gonna do is bend to speed it up until they match up like that, maybe a little bit less. Now I can see that the two tracks are kind of where they need to be. Let me cut the bass out on the one playing. Classic bit of DJing. And now you can hear the other track playing. You can hear them both playing together now. And all the way across so the other track doesn't drop back in bit of an early drop, let's get it uh, completely safe. Wasn't the best mix I've ever performed, but it didn't clang the house down. 
uh, the two tracks are just about in time and obviously just pause this track now knowing as I do um, how DJing actually happens and how it goes ahead and obviously knowing the Serato software like I do um, it was pretty easy for me to do that I think from a beginner's perspective um, if you tried to just mix that without the nudging getting those beats to sit in time together it would have been an absolute car crash without a doubt I could see that there was quite a difference between the two uh, downbeats when I hit play on the right deck um, so I'd need to have a bit more of a play with it to see like how intuitive that sync can really get inside Serato Lite but some of the tips on it you know it's a great bit of software Serato has the lowest latency uh, in the market so if you're looking to get your music and your mixes like bang on you know when you're actually performing this is uh, the industry standard really for digital DJing it also supports a lot of hardware so as and when you do move up the ranks of DJing this is a piece of software that works with pretty much all the hardware going. Another nice touch is you can link up your SoundCloud Go account or your Tidal account with Serato and that gives you access to all of the music on SoundCloud or Tidal. So if you're at a wedding or something like that and someone asks you to play right said Fred, no excuses. A quick search and it's there and you can mix it in straight away. So I think that's about it for looking into Serato DJ Lite. It's a classic bit of DJ software you can't go far wrong with it and at f for free with the tracks loaded into it to get to grips with it it's well worth a go